Good evening, everybody. This is Saturday, May 16th, the day before Father's Day. And we're doing another shop video. There's a lot I want to talk about in this video. There's a lot of things going on. And I'm going to give a very, very important piece of advice for everybody out there. I just had a little incident last week with a new client that came in so let's get to it right in front of me you see this monster of a case and I mean this is a monster case this is the biggest com this is the biggest computer case I've ever seen it's bigger than a full tower. I honestly don't know what Corsair calls this particular case. Corsair being the company that made it, but it is just big. I gotta pan the camera to get this thing fully viewable. That's how big it is. There's a few things I gotta do to this machine. First of all, up close, you see, we got a couple hard drives laying down here in the inside of the case. And for those of you that have never seen a hard drive, this is what they look like. We got a Western Digital Blue 1 terabyte, and we got a Western Digital Blue. I'm trying to get this one, it's a little tight squeeze, but this is a 250 gigabyte. There we go. Focused in. This is a 250. Um, notice how they're just laying down inside the case. That's the first thing I gotta fix is that. And we're gonna mount them into the hot swap bays right here in front of this case. And then I have to deal with a what I call a hard lockup issue and hard Hard lockup is when you're using the computer and it just all of a sudden stops. The mouse stops, you can't do anything. The keyboard stops, you can't do anything there. There's no blue screen of death. Everything just stops and your only option is to shut the power off and turn it back on again. It's usually caused by some type of hardware issue, and we're going to be figuring that hardware issue out. This custom build over here came to me actually all the way, all the way from Kent, Connecticut, and it had some mismatched parts that needed to repair before it would even start, and the customer also wanted me to put windows on it and basically finish the software portion of the build this machine is now ready to just about ready to leave the shop after a couple more tests this machine over here is a bit of a reconnaissance project this is a vintage piece of hardware. In fact, I'm gonna move this case so you can see just how vintage I'm talking about. Uh, does anyone remember what these drives are? Right up here? That's a five and a quarter inch floppy drive. Um, they took five and a quarter inch floppy disks. If I had one here, I would show you what they look like for those of you that have never seen one. Unfortunately, I don't. What we're doing with this thing is the three and a half inch floppy <coughs> is, excuse me, the three and a half inch floppy is very near death. So we're going to be replacing it with a device called a floppy emulator. Unfortunately, the device will take a while to get here. So in the meantime, I had the owner bring it in so I can do some reconnaissance 
record what the machine is like inside and what types of hardware I have available to me so that I know what I'm doing when it comes to maintaining this vintage computer. These days maintaining vintage computers are a little different than maintaining modern computers and I may talk about some of the challenges in a later video. What I mainly wanted to talk about today is something that came up toward the end of last week, Thursday slash Friday. I had a customer come in with a laptop with a complaint that the laptop was very slow. And he brought it in and I fire it up and right away on the screen I get a SMART error. SMART is an acronym for System Monitoring Analysis and Reporting Technology. It is a system designed to make a determination as to whether <coughs> as to whether a hard disk is getting ready to fail or not. The smart system was going off, which means that the hard drive was already gone. The problem with smart is that by the, it's not sensitive enough. By the time the smart system goes off, your hard drive is gone. There is nothing, absolutely nothing you can do about it it's too late and that's what happened in this case now in order to get it fixed we have to replace the hard drive we have to reinstall windows in order to reinstall windows I need valid legal windows media which this person most likely does not have. I mean, the the likelihood that this customer does not have the media is probably 99%. When you have to replace a hard drive, then get Windows Media, then put $150 plus tax worth of labor on to the machine which is what it costs to get windows installed in here from scratch you have a bit of an issue because you get into laptop not worth repairing territory and that's where this guy stands this machine had been slow for a while if he had brought it into me when it first became slow, I would have been able to do a simple swap and clone of the old hard drive. This, number one, allows me to save all of his data, which now is obviously gone with the old hard drive. And number two, it is much cheaper labor wise. 5318 versus 15953. Listen here. A slow computer is a sick computer. If your computer is running slow, you want to get it into me as soon as you possibly can. Do not wait because you do not know what the problem is. Your hard drive could be failing. And if it is, you want to get it replaced and corrected sooner rather than later. Doing this will save you money, grief, and heartache. This is a very important lesson for everyone out there to remember. Okay, um, I wish everybody out there that is a father, happy Father's Day.
Please don't forget to rate, comment, like, and, and subscribe. And I will see everyone next time. Bye-bye.